As a scalping trader, you should always test different ways of trading to try and find something that will give you a better edge in your trades. You shouldn't be afraid to explore new approaches that aren't popular in the trading game. And trading with range bars is an approach that is often neglected or ignored completely by most of traders. Range bars belong to a type of chart that is independent of time. Unlike the more conventional chart types, such as the candlestick or bar charts, with range bars only the horizontal price level is plotted. Time is redundant. Range bars were designed by a Brazilian trader, Vicente Nicolelis, back in the 90s. Due to the volatility of the markets at that time, he believed that the price was the most important aspect when analyzing an asset. As the local markets at that time were very volatile, Nicolelis became interested in developing a way to use the volatility to his advantage. He believed price movement was paramount to understanding and using volatility. He developed range bars to take only price into consideration, thereby eliminating time from the equation. As the name suggests, range bars are specifically used to identify ranging price action and trending price action. Now, most of the existing trading platforms have not incorporated the range bars as one of the default chart types, but there are a lot of workarounds including on the MT4 trading platform. You can find this type of chart on TradingView platform. So how do range bars calculate price? Range bars take only price into consideration. Therefore, each bar represents a specified movement of price. You are most likely familiar with viewing charts based on time. For instance, a 30-minute chart where one bar shows the price activity for each 30-minute time period. Time-based charts, such as the 30-minute chart in this example, will print the same number of bars during each trading session, regardless of volatility, volume, or any other factor. Range bars, on the other hand, can have any number of bars printing during a trading session. During times of higher volatility, more bars will print. Conversely, during periods of lower volatility, fewer bars will print. The number of range bars created during a trading session will also depend on the instrument being analyzed and the specified price movement of the range bar. Range bars follow three simple rules. Each range bar must have a high and a low range that equals the specified range. Each range bar must open outside the high and low range of the previous bar. And each range bar must close at either its high or its low. In this example, we have a 10 pip EURUSD range bar. The high and low of each bar in this chart is 10 pips. A new range bar opens only when the price closes above or below the previous range bar's high or low. Basically, a range bar is a bar that has the same price increment and each bar closes either at the high or the low, regardless of where it opened. So if you want a range of 10 cents for a stock, set your range to 10. Every time the stock moves 10 cents up or down in total for that bar, it will complete the current bar and start a new one. Time has no effect. This can give you an edge in markets that are moving sideways or are very flat. How to set range bar size? Specifying the degree of price movement for creating a range bar is not a one-size-fits-all process. Different trading instruments move in variety of ways. For example, a higher price stock, such as Tesla, might have a daily range of $20 or $30 or even more. A lower price stock, such as General Electric, might move only a percentage of that in a typical day, maybe $0.30 or $0.40. Cents. It is common for higher price trading instruments to experience greater average daily price ranges. Let's compare both Tesla and General Electric with $0.10 cent range bars. One half of the trading session for Tesla can barely be compressed to fit one screen since it has much greater daily range than General Electric, and therefore many more 10 cent range bars are created. Tesla and General Electric provide an example for two stocks that trade at very different prices, resulting in distinct average daily price ranges. It should be noted that while it is generally true that high price trading instruments can have a greater average daily price range than those that are lower priced, instruments that trade at roughly the same price 
can have very different levels of volatility as well. While we can apply the same range bar settings across the board, it is more helpful to determine an appropriate range setting for each trading instrument. One method for establishing suitable settings is to consider the trading instrument's average daily range. This can be accomplished through observation or by utilizing indicators such as the average true range on a daily chart interval. Once the average daily range has been determined, a percentage of that range could be used to establish the desired price range for a range bar chart. Another consideration is the trader's style. Short-term traders or scalpers may be more interested in looking at smaller price movements and therefore may be inclined to have a smaller range bar setting. Longer-term traders and investors may require range bar settings that are based on larger price moves. For example, a scalper trader may watch a 10 cent range bar. This would allow the trader to watch for significant price moves that occur during one trading session. Conversely, an investor might want a $1 range bar for the same asset. This would help reveal price movements that would be significant to the longer term style of trading and investing. Now, don't confuse range bars with Renko charts. At the first glance, it is easy to find some similarity between a Renko bar and a range bar. In fact, there is something common between these two chart types. They are both independent of time and focus on price alone. However, there's where the difference ends. In range bars, every bar is of the same length, including reversals. In Renko bars, every bar is of the same length, including reversals, but price must travel two times the Renko bar in the opposite direction. Range bars can help traders view price in a consolidated form. Much of the noise that occurs when price bounces back and forth between a narrow range can be reduced to a single bar or two. This is because a new bar will not print until the specified price range has been fulfilled. This helps traders distinguish what is actually happening to price. Because range bar charts eliminates much of the noise, they are very useful charts to draw trend lines. Areas of support and resistance can be emphasized through the application of horizontal trend lines. Trending periods can be highlighted through the use of the up trend lines and down trend lines. Range bar charts are perfect for scalping strategies. That is because you can read volatility better. Volatility refers to the degree of price movement in a trading instrument. As the market trades in a narrow range, fewer range bar will print reflecting a decreased volatility. As price begins to break out of a trading range with an increase in volatility, you must spend time observing a particular trading instrument with a specific range bar setting applied. Through this careful watching, you can notice the subtle changes in the timing of the bars and the frequency in which they print. The faster the bars print, the greater the price volatility. The slower the bars print, the lower the price volatility. Periods of increased volatility often signify trading opportunities as the new short trend may be starting. If you scalp the forex market for example, and if you seek to make 10 pips on a trade, wouldn't it be more useful to pull a 10 pip range chart? Yes it would be, sounds logical. A 10 pips range bar would not take the time factor into account, instead it would reflect the price movement completely, which is exactly what we need. Once the currency trade moves outside the 10 pip range, another candlestick will form, no matter how many minutes or seconds this may take. The ability to exclude the market noise is the cornerstone of success in trading the financial markets. Range bars will help you to see the true picture of what really happens with the price of the traded financial instrument. Independent of what indicators you use, range bars will become a perfect supplement to the trading methods you use since they react to the market changes much faster. This video was basically an introduction to range bars, but in the future we'll go deeper and build some trading strategies based on range bars. As always, if you learned something new and found value, give us a like to show your support. 
subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay notified when we upload new videos. Until next time.